Hey guys, fun over here, back with another devlog. I'm just going to be talking about what I've been doing with Sierra Sandstorm recently. It's been... I don't actually know how long it's been since I posted a Sierra Sandstorm devlog. But anyways, I'll just be talking about some stuff I've been doing, such as sound effect, friendly AI, improved weapon system, and much more. So, let's just get right into it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the sound effects part of Sierra Sandstorm. So, I might sound crazy, but I use the microphone on my phone instead of my studio mic to record sound effects because I found it that my studio mic filters too much background noise and that's not exactly good for recording sound effects so what I do is take my phone use the voice recorder app port the sound effects and upload it to my next cloud server so I can download it on my computer open it up in audacity and just do some little editing magic with it and boom I have a sound effect and I found that this process is actually quite efficient it works pretty good and it actually sounds okay it's not bad at all because like whenever I use my studio mic it filters out background noise as I said earlier which results in a sound effect that sounds kind of like empty and shallow and that isn't really good for something that's like bassy and loud like a gunshot so that's pretty much it for the sound effect part I only have two sound effects in so far that are actually somewhat decent one for the M4 and one for the AK-47 and speaking of weapons I actually have been working tirelessly and by tirelessly I mean a single hour a day on making weapon 3D models so far I have the M4A1, AK-47, MP5, and UMP-45 models will be on the screen now so you can take a look at them I guess and on the topic of weapons I've been improving the feel of the weapon system because previously there was no recoil there's no sound effects there's no muzzle flash so I added all that stuff the weapon moves back when you shoot it, it pushes the camera up a little bit it and it has a muzzle flash it just looks fairly decent and feels okay to play with so hopefully that should improve the fun factor of my game and the next thing I did is work on friendly AI I about said enemy AI this video is unscripted I worked on friendly AI now this was kind of difficult to get setting up and I'm not sure if it even works right now but I wanted it was pretty much the same logic for the enemy AI, it was just different variables, so I decided to make them inherit from the same class. Now this required a lot of tinkering to get set up correctly, just because of like things and stuff. So, but now it worked. Uh, one thing though is that the get group function takes in a static string. This would not work with variables, so I had to think outside the box. I cannot actually remember the solution I came up with, but you could check the GitHub or the commit. I believe I just got the name of the thing, and if it contained a certain string, then it would do the logic. So this means that it is dependent on the name of the thing you wish to get, but it means that it does work, and the first rule of programming is if it works, then don't touch it. So that's pretty much it for this devlog. Uh, a little bit more technical, I suppose. Uh, but I guess that's not a bad thing. Just presenting information to you guys. I'm not sure that's a bad thing. But if you found this video informative or entertaining or any of that, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps out the channel and helps good content like this recommend to others. That's all from me for now. Fun Huber out.